Sign from across Bharata Varsha and across the world, a very hearty welcome to all assembled here and all those who are watching online. And uh, today is a very special event. Sri Muttu Swami Dikshitar, one of the most revered and celebrated Vagya Karas of Bharata Varsha, and one of the Sangita Trimurtis of uh, Karnataka Sangita Loka, has contributed many excellent kritis to the world of music. His kritis are versatile creative and very scholarly and verily a feast to the years. Of his hundreds of his kritis, his Navavarana kritis are specially unique, enriched with shastric descriptions of the Shakti Devata and Bhakti, set to scholarly and unique musical patterns. The singing and even listening to these elevate the connoisseurs to heights of aesthetic pleasure and divine contemplation. The number 108 holds a divine significance in our Sanatana Samskriti and marks the offering of Nama Japa, Nama Vali, Parayana, etc. In, this, in tune with this tradition, 108 singers today will together render the Navavarna Kritis of Sri Dikshitar as an offering to Bhagavan Sri Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami. As per convention, the Navavarana Goshti Gana shall be preceded by the singing of the Mahaganapati Kriti and then the Balasubramanya Kriti and the Dhyana Kritis. The Mangala Kriti in Sri Raga shall mark the conclusion of the Gana Seva. We have with us on the Pakavadya very accomplished artists. We have on the violin Vidushi Srimati Nalina Mohan, Vidushi Srimati Charulata Ramanujam. And on the Mridangam, we have Vidwan Sri B.C. Manjunath. And we have uh, on the Mridangam also Vidwan Sri A.S.N. Swami. And then we have on the Ghatam, Vidushi Srimati Sukanya Ramagopal. And Vidwan Sri Narayana Swami. And on the flute, we have Vidwan Sri L.V. Mukund. And uh, we have on the Veena, Vidushi Srimati M.R. Manjula. And the whole Goshti Gana has been trained and organized and led by Vidushi Srimati, Dr. T.S. Satyavati. So, let us now enter, let us now enter the world of Divine Nada through the rendering of the Navavarna Kritis of Sri Muthu Swami Dikshitar. May Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami be pleased with our Gana Seva and bless us all. Krishna Jati Triputa Tala, Raga Gaula, Sri Mahaganapati, Sri Mahaganapati Ravatuma.
ಬಾಲಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯಂ ಸುರುಟಿರಾಗ ಆದಿತಾಳ
ನವಾವರಣ ಕೃತಿಗಳ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕೃತಿ ತೋಡಿರಾಗ ರೂಪಕ ತಾಳ
ಮೊದಲನೇ ಆವರಣದ ಕೃತಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆವರಣ ಕೃತಿ ಇನ್ ರಾಗ ಆನಂದ ಭೈರವಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಜಾತಿ ಏಕತಾಳ
ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆವರಣ ಕೃತಿ ಇನ್ ರಾಗ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ಆದಿತಾಳ
ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆವರಣ ಕೃತಿ ಇನ್ ರಾಗ ಶಂಕರಾಭರಣ ರೂಪಕ ತಾಳ
The fourth Avarna Kriti is in Raga Kamboji set to Atatala.
ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆವರಣ ಕೃತಿ ಇನ್ ಭೈರವಿ ರಾಗ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಮಿಶ್ರ ಜಾತಿ ಜಂಪತಾಳ
Ja. The sixth Avarna Kriti is in Raga Punnagavarali, set to Rupakatala.
ದ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಅವರ್ನ ಕೃತಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ತ್ರಿಶ್ರಜಾತಿ ತ್ರಿಪುಟ ತಾಳ ಇನ್ ರಾಗ ಶಹನ
The eighth Avarna Kriti is in Raga Ghanta, set to Adi Tala. Go!
द नाइन्थ आवर्ण कृति इज इन राग आहिरी सेट टू त्रिश्र जाति एकता
The Mangala Kriti is set in Shri Raga Khandajati Ekatala.
Let's offer this beautiful Gana Seva to the lotus feet of Sri Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami. This assembly is indeed a galaxy of Saraswati Putras and Putris. Each of our guests today are very accomplished and of great repute. Singers, instrumentalists, musicologists, music patrons, connoisseurs, and many other highly accomplished individuals and heads of esteemed institutions and also connoisseurs of music have arrived here to witness this divine Gana Seva. This assembly rem reminds me of the Indra Sabha Sudharma, where the best of sa sadhakas gather. I extend a very hearty welcome to all our esteemed guests who have arrived here. We have in this beautiful divine assembly a galaxy of very accomplished artists, to name a few here. Um, Sri Vidwan Tirumale Srinivasji, who is a very popular vocalist, percussionist, and head of the Samanvaya Trust. I extend a very hearty welcome to you, sir. And then we have Sri Hachan Sureshji, who is the director of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Bengaluru. Then we have Sri N. Satya Prakashji, who is a very popular educationist and the president of the Brahmi Trust. We have with us Dr. M. R. B. Prasadji, who is the president of the Bengaluru Gayana Samaja and the chairperson of the Karnataka Sangeeta Nritya Academy. We also have with us Sri Shyamasundar Sharmaji, who is a renowned educationist and the head of the Smart School Bengaluru. We also have with us Sri Lakshmi Keshava, who is a musician educationist and head of the Vishwa Pragna Academy. And we have with us Vidwan Sri Ravi Shankar Sharma, the percussionist and president of the Shruti Sansar Academy. We also have with us Kala Bhushana Sri Srikantam Nagendra Shastriji, musician, musicologist, guru, composer, and head of the Chintalapalli Parampara Trust. And we also have with us Vidushi Srimati Vasanta Madhaviji, 
who is a musician, musicologist, guru, composer, and managing trustee of Sri Subbarava Subrao Fine Arts Trust. We also have with us Vidushi Srimati Geeta Ramanandaji, who is a Veena exponent and a guru. We also we ha have with us Vidwan Sri HS Venu Gopal, who is a flutist and a Sangeeta guru. We also with have with us Vidwan Sri T.S. Chandrasekhar, Mridangam exponent and guru. And uh, Vidushi Srimati Jyotsna Srikant was with us yesterday. Today her husband has arrived. We welcome you all. And we also have Vidushi Srimati Gayatri Ji, who is a musician, guru, and the head of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan BBMP school. <clears throat> we also have with us Sri Vidwan R.S. Kumarji, who is a promoter of Carnatic's classical music through uh, the Padma Vibhushna R.K. Shrikantan Trust. We also we have with us Vidushi Srimati Padma Gurudat, a senior musician, musicologist and guru. And also we have with us Srimati Sita Ramachandraji, who is a great promoter of art and culture and a senior most member of the Committee of Management of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. Yesterday, Vidushi Kalavati was also here with us. We have Srimati Nagalakshmi ji uh, from Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan also here. And also guests as well as performers with us today are our very accomplished Pakkavadya artists. We have had on the violin Vidushi Srimati Nalina Mohan and uh, Vidushi Srimati Charulata Ramanujan. Yesterday we also had Vidwan Sri T.S. Krishnamurti on the violin along with us. And uh, on the Mridangam we have Vidwan Sri A.S.N. Swami and on the Ghatam Vidushi Srimati Sukanya Ramagopal and Vidwan Sri Narayana Murti. And on the flute, and uh, today we have on the Mridangam Sri B.C. Manjunaji, Vidwan Sri B.C. Manjunath. And uh, on the flute, we have Vidwan Sri L.V. Mukund and the young art, upcoming artist Raghu Simha. On the Veena, we have Vidushi Srimati, M.R. Manjula. And a special thanks to all the young and senior Vidwams and Vidushis and students of Karnatak music who joined in here in the very auspicious 108 number to offer this Gana Seva to Bhagavan Sri Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami. And a special thanks to our Guru who has trained us and organized us like this. Vidushi Dr. T.S. Satyavati. We have another very special guest. We all have heard the name of our, uh, His Highness Sri Jai Cham Rajendra Vodayar. He is uh, a Pratas Maraniya to the uh, Sangeeta Loka. And we have his son-in-law, Sri Raja Chandraji here with us, who is a great connoisseur of music and a promoter of music too. 
we extend a very hearty welcome to all of you here. I request you all to acknowledge this great moment with claps. I also extend a very hearty welcome to senior Madangist Vidwan Shri K. Ramanaji. We also have with us Vidushi Shrimati Are Ramamani ji. Thank you and welcome, madam.
We also have with us senior musician Shrimati Uma Shambhuj. Very hearty welcome to you. Namaste. Just give us five, ten minutes. After having honored all the guests, we'll go ahead with the launching of the video program. Along with all our esteemed guests, we also have their family members. We have the family members of all the gayakas and gayakis here, and many other sahradayas, connoisseurs, lovers of music, and bhaktas of Sri Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami. I extend a very hearty welcome and also thanks to all of you for making this uh, event so beautiful and spectacular. We will go ahead with the launching program very soon in a few minutes. We have also with us Shrimati and Shri Kumar and uh, Shrimati and Shri M.D. Gopal and all of our uh, uh, members and uh, different music lovers and musicians who have all contributed and patronized and made this program materialize. A very hearty welcome and a lot of thanks to the great patronage. Namaste.
We also have with us another very esteemed guest, Sri Arakali Venkatesh Ji, who is the President of uh, the Honorary Secretary of uh, Indian Institute of World Culture. He's a great patron of art and uh, he is always uh, very actively involved in different types of Desha, Dharma, uh, Uthana programs. I extend a very hearty welcome to you also, sir. And uh, we, we had our invited guest, Sri M. Surya Prasadji, who was uh, supposed to be here with us. He has some problem in coming here, so he has sent his uh, warm wishes for this program. I extend a, uh, I um, show our namaskars to him in his absence. We also have with us uh, Ganakala Bhushna, Shri Vidwan Shri R.K. Padmanabhanji, who is a famous musician, musicologist, composer and a guru. Welcome, sir. Namaste. He has the credit of leading more than 1,000 musicians together in a Goshti Gana. Thank you, sir. Uh, we shall now go ahead with the video launching program. I uh, first of all welcome our honorable guest, Dr. M.R.V. Prasadji, President of Gayana Samaja, Bengaluru, and the Chairperson of Karnataka Nritya Academy to do this uh, divine task of launching the video videos. And I also welcome Guru Dr. T.S. Satyavati to be with him on the stage. Sir, please. A brief introduction to this video presentation. The video presentation of the 24 chosen Kritis of Sri Muttaswami Dikshitar, which highlight the best essence of his musical compositions, shall be launched now. These have been rendered by the students, the disciples of Vidushi Sangeeta Ratna, Dr. T.S. Satyavati. And the first set of 10 Kritis on Bhagavan Ganesha shall be launched in the divine presence of Sri Prasanna Viranjana Swami now. Soon after which, the video shall go online on the YouTube channel www.tsatyavati.com and sets of 8 and 10 Kritis each shall be periodically uploaded in succession later on. May I now request Sri MRV Prasadji to, uh, to perform the sacred duty of launching the videos of the Kritis.
Primeiro, uma Tá. Eldrugo Namskara. Nerdirta Kanta. Kiria. Hago Kiria Kalavidere. Kalabi Manigale. Kala Poshakare. The Meldrugo. E. Muki Pranana. Sandi the Ali. Nana Sastang and Namskara. Sangita Nade Vandu. Daivatuadanta Kale. E. Sangita da Mutuswami Dixitara, Nuri Patnal Kritigala, Summer Pane Nijarebe Kondre Sangita Trimurtigalli, Palastu, Kastapatu Kalibe Kadan Tadu, Mutuswami Dixitra Kritigalunta, Survey Samoni Vagi Elder Mansalir Takantadu Uba Sangita da. Vidyartiagi, Nanukuda and Kondi the Nestosati, Estu Kastai de Du, Peliudas to Sulubudalla, Antahadrali, Nuripatna Kukritiglana, Namani Mellar and Nechina, Madam Sativati or Marta Kantadu, Nijuago, Slagania. Iduondo Doddo. Saha Santana and Kondidin, do Saha Santana Helvodu Obre Vecti, Palea Guruglu, Palea Gaikru, Bodhakru, Samskut Panditru, in Nella in Yestu Heldruno at the Saldu, Antha Vondo, Chikamani in the Helvodu, Nama Satyavati. Our Mele Namgela Bahala Tinta Gorua Matabimana Auro even though Nuripatna like a critical recording now, Brigade Madlike knew Verbe Kundagan and Salpa, Sanko Chaitu, Bala Dodivectiglo, Bala Chick Vectigl and the Kardu Idena, and our own Madabe Kuntel Tetakantado, Auro Nanmeli Tritakanta, Priti and Tanan Bavistini. Ilidre, Idena, Marta Kanta Yogit and Nanidio alone and Gutilla Anta Mahan Vectigala, Nuri Patnal Kritigala, Yondo, Launch Program Gay, Nan and Kardi de Kagi, Avrig Matamadlagi, Anantan and the Danua de Glenner Pisi, Idenega, Birgade Marta Idin Om Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Muttuswami Dikshitar, the youngest among the trinity of South Indian classical music, is a saintly scholar and enlightened composer and occupies a revered niche in the hearts of musicians and conizers. Comprehension and rendition of Shri Dikshitar's compositions mark the graduation of a musician's cognition and mastery over music. Most of these compositions demand revisits in the form of fresh interpretations, change of perception and complete surrender to the composer for them to yield their inner essence and beauty. Shri Subhrama Dikshitar, Muttuswami Dikshitar's nephew, compiled Dikshitar's compositions with utmost precision and attention to details in his work Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini. Thus, Pradarshini serves as an authentic source for a musician keen on a true experience of Shri Muttuswami Dikshitar's compositions. Yeah. 
दीक्षितानुभव इज एन आउटकम ऑफ ए डिवाइन इंस्पिरेशन एंड इंटेंस टू गाइड म्यूजिशियंस एंड सहृदय इन देर परस्यूट ऑफ सच एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग ऑफ दीज कंपोजिशन दीक्षितानुभव हेज स्प्रंग फ्रॉम ए फैसिनेटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दट एमर्ज फॉर द लार्जर गुड ऑफ द फेटर्निटी ऑफ म्यूजिशियंस The lofty objectives set for the project deserve to be supported by an equally upright, dedicated, and committed person. And this was Sri M D Gopal, the sole sponsor of the whole project, who dedicates it to the Supreme and the Trinity. By God's grace, this project has the good fortune to be executed by Dr T S Satyavati, who perfectly fits the bill, being an excellent musician and profound scholar. both in music and sanskrit dr satyavati was ably assisted by her senior disciples vidushis shilpa shashidhar archana bhoj and anjana p rao in this great mission var guru guha sodarena suruchiralam vodarena karuna gagauradarena kalimala harana chaturena panchamatam These 124 kritis have been grouped in sets of compositions based on the deity or the theme. Each of the kritis is preceded by a dhyana shloka or sayul chosen appropriately to establish the context and thus enhance the receptivity of the kriti that follows. बीजापूर गुकाशोत्पल ग्रस्वीषाणरत्कलशा हस्तर्मे musical visions have been recorded in studio ananya bengaluru to the accompaniment of vidushi nalina mohan on violin vidwan k u chaitanya rao on mridangam and vidushi manjula surendra on veena all artists of competence proficiency and whole hearted involvement this colossal endeavor is meant for the well being of society with no expectation of returns either in terms of money or name 
it's an offer meet to the divine power and a blessing to estates om tat sat heartfelt gratitudes to you sir for launching this beautiful uh, video i request you all to please uh, watch this enjoy this on the youtube and acknowledge there and uh, this is the moment to also invite uh, shri gopal dampati kalyani gopal ji particularly uh, they have been the patrons of this sole patrons of this whole uh, uh, project so i invite you madam to say us few words and we also have two very esteemed guests who have just arrived one is vidushi uh, shrimati p rama ji who is a very uh, a famous musician and a guru and the head of the institution called pustakam and she's also acted as bengaluru nagratnamma in the play uh, on uh, bengaluru nagratnamma i extend a hearty welcome to you madam we also have with us vidushi shrimati r chandrika a musician of great repute and also a sangeeta guru i welcome you also ma'am yes kalyani ma'am please say a few words namaskara distinguished guests the luminaries of the music world present here and the driving force behind this function Dr T S Satyavati and her devoted disciples it's a great privilege and honor for my family and myself to participate in this noble occasion i take this opportunity to express a heartfelt gratitude to dr satyavati who has dedicated her time and energies wholeheartedly for creating this homage to the immortal composer shri muthuswami dikshit as most present here are already aware Dr Satyavati is a great artist who has received immense reverence accolades and awards during her illustrious musical career yet she isn't one to bask in her past laurels or run after the material benefits such success brings her passion for music is for music's sake and her thirst for gnana is unquenchable urging trying all the time to delve deeper and deeper in sangeeta each passing day dr prasad has actually recounted her mastery of music in both theory and performance and her sanskrit scholarship and i add to it that only an individual with such passion and thirst for gnana can do justice to a project of this nature i must disclose here that this this distinguished lady has not taken a single pie or other material compensation for herself for performing and masterminding this project she and her team she and her team have put in months and years of dedication to this project and here i must mention specially that she has taken the total responsibility of organizing this entire event paying attention to the minutest details right from procuring permission to hold such a gathering during the election time fixing the premises inviting the dignitaries configuring the seating distributing the flyers arranging the prasad bhojan etc etc no mean task this once again a heartfelt thanks to dr t s satyavati and her team it's by divine grace that all of us here had the privilege of being part of this occasion where 108 musicians and splendid tala artists and string artists played the uh, played in perfect coordination 
and uh, it just shows the tremendous practice and dedication that they had all put into it i invoke the grace of uh, lord hanuman for blessing her and her talented team for achieving success in all their endeavors thank you very much thanks a lot madam for the nice words and also for uh, being a patron of this uh, great event and in the absence of two great artists who were who were here with us yesterday uh, today they have not been able to make it here vidushi uh, hn meera ji who is a very famous musician and also vidwan shri m anand who is the president of tyagaraja gana sabha i acknowledge their presence here in their absence and uh, now uh, we come towards the conclusion of this very beautiful event divine event and uh, jagan mata was the ishta devata of shri dikshitar so he is already offered it her at her feet we also shall join him in offering this whole beautiful gana seva at the feet of jagan mata kamalamba now i invite sangeeta kalaratna guru dr shrimati ts satyavati to extend the vote of thanks she needs no introduction she is one of the finest musicians musicologists a very great sangeeta guru and the main uh, force behind this whole project who has uh, executed this with great love and passion and hard work i welcome you ma'am प्रवेश्य मम वाच मीमा प्रसुप्ता सजीवयतखिशक्तिधर स्वधा अंजा हस्तचरण्रवणत्वगादी प्राण नमो भगवते पुषा तुभ्यम ऐम रियली सॉरी ऐम ओवर वेलमड वि इमोशन्स this is the most humbling moment of my life perhaps at the same time a moment of fulfillment also i must acknowledge madam kalyani i am grateful to you for your very very kind words i very poorly deserve whatever you said it is just a kind karya or a seva for which i have been chosen and this is my फॉर्च्यून एंड पूर्व जन्म कृत पुण्य एक्यूमुलेटेड ओवर सेवरल प्रीवियस जन्म दट्स हाउ आई टेक इट एंड एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई ऑफर माई वेरी वेरी सिंसियर प्रणाम्स टू एवरी मेंबर ऑफ दिस वेरी स्पेशल यूनिक असेंबली ब्रिमिंग विथ सहृदय देर कैन बी एन देर कैन बी नॉट अ पैरल टू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ गैदरिंग this is not an ordinary gathering at all and uh, that i am standing before you in this uh, sacred precinct of this abode of my most favorite deity shri prasanna viranjaneya swami to express my gratitude is primarily because of the divine motherly force by which we were commissioned to carry out a very holy mission that is i call it a mission not just a no, project at all that is to bring out the audio recordings of 124 well chosen carefully chosen compositions of sri muthuswami dikshitar each preceded by an equally appropriate dhyana shloka or a tamil sayul all provided to us ready i didn't have to stir myself to do anything but uh, the colossal task the colossal task the onus of which my very weak shoulders shudder to bear 
but again by the grace of daiva chitta i should say it all happened and the support from every corner i am only the beneficiary i am i can only be beholden to everybody no claims at all absolutely no claims and i bow down in reverence to this divine design the purpose the very purpose of this project now i mean in the ordinary sense of the term i should say it was to experience the true nature of dikshitan's compositions or better to say his music trying to go as much closer to him as possible an ambitious desire as kalidasa says at the beginning of his great work raghuvamsha mahakavya manda kavi yasha prarthi he says manda kavi yasha prarthi i am a dullard and i wish for a poet's glory this is how it was for me i didn't even dream of any such thing to happen in my life it is such a miraculous thing about 7 years ago all of a sudden it came to me how it came i mean it's a big story i don't want to uh, go deep into it or elaborate on that anyway uh, to experience this dikshitar's music his vision the only possible way was through subarama dikshita as uh, rightly pointed out in the introduction by dr mc prakash his nephew he has documented all the compositions whatever and there are compositions which are not there in the pradarshini also and we too have sung a few outside pradarshini but while documenting the compositions of dikshita he has been so meticulous to uh, not to miss out on any minute detail whatever his total concept was whatever his perception was whatever his approach was how he dealt with each prayoga each sanchara each swara with lots and lots of shuddha swaras interspersed with very very judiciously appropriately brought in employed gamakas and all in suladi talas none in any chapu tala these are the very unique features of dikshita and the pantha or the paddhati of raga that he followed is a very ancient one almost becoming obsolete becoming obsolete by his times it was venkatamakhi paddhati and later on came uh, i mean that is uh, govinda acharya's 72 mela system whatever has been followed by the other two among the trinity namely saint tyagaraja and shama shastri while these two contemporaries whom we call together as the trinity of carnatic music they followed a later system that came up later dikshitar still adhere to the old sampradaya old tradition and there are vidwans there are pandits who argue with reason giving their own reasons that whatever comes later has to be followed so uh, govindacharya's 72 mela system which was followed by the other two um, uh, great composers has to stay but what happens to the old sampradaya which has been very faithfully followed by dikshita we cannot ignore that at all but there is nothing wrong in someone following a particular paddhati it is his choice loko bhinna ruchihi so no arguments the present project has been taken up purely with faith conviction and total devotion for this particular sampradaya or tradition that dikshitar follow this is a very humble effort as i said earlier mandak kavish prarthi has to be read often has to be uh, construed after every sentence of mine very very humble effort to aesthetically interpret 
the scripts as given in the sangeeta sampradaya pradarshini so uh, while doing so the result was a revelation not research i underline it's not research it is a revelation and uh, it is no exploration it is just experience ethereal it is inexplicable it just has to be experience dikshitas compositions many a time they are so tough to interpret so tough to explain to others if somebody goes on arguing with a particular phrase you have no way of explaining it how it has sprung in you what it has given to you as a divine revelation it reveals itself to you it has to do that otherwise we cannot go close to dikshitar at all this is my very very humble and personal experience of singing dikshitar's compositions it is more experiential than experience you go on singing but you may not get at it but at once we may get so it is experiential music that is the reason why this project has been called dikshitanubhava dikshitanubhava and it is an experiential learning the learning continues forever there is not a point where you can say i have learned everything i know everything about dikshitar at all such a thing never exists and so it should be called a pavitra sangeeta yagya so this is a pavitra sangeeta yagya uh, yagya sir conducted not for the benefit of an individual but they have a universal purpose and it is the samashti drishti so uh, my role in this was just that of an instrument naham kartri jani kartri so i am not the doer the mother is the doer so that is how i have taken it uh, with this background i would now wish to place on record my artless gratitude to all who have made this possible first and foremost to come forward to sponsor the entire project was the impeccable kapil shrimati kalyani gopal and shri md gopal but for them it could not have come through sir and madam we are beholden to you my pranams to you we had an excellent set of accompanying musicians of very high repute vidushi nalina mohan on the violin vidwan k u jayachandra rao on the mridanga and we are uh, missing him and also vidushi mr manjula who played for the navavarana krutis today and um, they are commitment and accomplishment incarnate i have no second word about it i am ever grateful to the artists who accompanied us on this wonderful spiritual journey and uh, my very senior disciple vidushi shilpa shashidhar who sang with me for over 100 compositions and also vidushi archana bhoj and vidushi anjana p rao who sang the others they deserve kudos for their contribution it is 7 years since we began recording this project at studio ananya shreyamsi bahu vignani it is true scheduling and rescheduling happening because of foreign tours surgeries and uh, the awful covid period so all this had a setback for the project one person who put up with all this was our dear engineer friend shri umesh at ananya studio our million thanks to him coming to today's event 
uh, it is my very, very pleasant duty to thank all the Vidwans and Vidushis, very senior. I mean, who took part in offering the Navavarana Kritis today at the lotus feet of Bhagavati? Like Vidushi Padma Gurudath is there. Vidushi Hamsini was there for all the rehearsals. Vidushi Rupa Shrikant was there. And so many other uh, leading musicians of our uh, state. And um, stalwarts like Charulata Ramanujam, A.S.N. Swami, B.K. Manjunath, Sukanya Ram Gopal, Vidwan Narayan Murthy, Vidwan L.V. Mukund, and young Raghu Simha, they all have contributed so much to today's presentation of the Navavarana Kritis. I am ever grateful to them. And the Sabha today is studded with learned people here. They are like luminaries in the firmament of our Karnataka classical music and dance. I cannot mention by name. Each one, each one is great in their own might in the field. Their contribution is so immense to the progress of our Karnataka classical music. And my very, very, very sincere pronouns to each and every one of these Vidwans who are here today. Coming to today's event, it is my very pleasant duty to thank all the Vidwans and Vidushis here who took part in the offering of the Navavarana Kritis. And the launching was done by none less than our Dr. M.R.V. Prasad Ji, who amidst his busy schedule in quotes, usually we say this to everybody, but this is very much true with, uh, he is a, a doctor also, physician, and he is a Rogaharta, Dr. M.R.V. Prasad Ji, who amidst us, amidst his busy schedule, in the real sense of the term, made it possible to favor us by his presence and good words. Our sincere pronouns to you, sir. We are missing Dr. M. Uh, Surya Prasad. Till yesterday, we were very hopeful of his, uh, I mean, joining us today. Some inevitable reason has pulled him back and he is not able to be here. But still, I place on record my sincere gratitude to him for showing all interest in this very, very purposeful project. As I said earlier, we are indeed fortunate to have, as our guests of honor, such luminaries. I already mentioned, but I cannot mention them by name. And I have so much to say about each one of them. They are the luminaries in the firmament of our Indian music, classical music. This is all I can say. Who have brought an aura of mystic elegance to this sabha. Each one is an epitome of our cultural values. I bow down to them. The caterers have provided us with very, very, I mean, tasty food, which I say, shuchi and ruchi, both. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. The temple authorities, the staff, especially Vidwan Vinayak Bhattru. So all out support from them to organize in the beautiful divine precincts of this Swami, who is my very, very favorite deity, Prasanna Viranjaneya Swami. Uh, I place on record my sincere thanks to the live streaming team led by Sri Girish. My affectionate appreciation and thanks to all my students who have left no stone unturned to see that everything falls in its place. And my very, very dear student, erudite scholar, doctor, Arati Balasubramaniam, who did the comparing. She has her Vibhu Academy 
through which she is spreading the light of our Indian culture to nooks and corners, far and wide. And I place on record my very sincere thanks for her accepting to be the anchor today. If I have left anyone, please. Yes, of course, this mic through which my voice is reaching you all. I place on record my very sincere thanks to the sound system. And thank you all present here and all those watching online. May the omnipotent, omnipresent, supreme bestow upon every one of us the best. This is all I can say. What is best for us, we do not know. But she knows. He knows. So let us leave it to the Almighty. And thank you for your very patient hearing. Sarve jana sukhino bhavantu. Samastha sanmangalani bhavantu. Thanks a lot, uh, madam. Your words are as sweet as your music, uh, music is. Uh, we have with us two more special guests who have just arrived. Padma Shri Vidwan Shri Arun Tyagarajan Ji has arrived with his wife. I welcome you, sir, heartily to this occasion. And we also have Vidushi Shrimati M.S. Sheila Ji, a very, very well-known musician and guru. I welcome you also, ma'am. So with this, we come towards the end of this, conclusion of this beautiful sabha. Uh, when our Dr. Satyavati ji arranges anything, it will be exactly on time. The Sakshi is there. Maybe I took more time, but everything will be in place. So at the right time, we started and we are also concluding at the right time. I once again thank all of you and also all the Vidwans and Vidushis and the students of music and connoisseurs of music and the organizers and uh, the patrons, everybody for this grand event. And uh, my pranams to Sri Prasanna Viranjana Swami for blessing us all. Let's uh, conclude this with the Shanti Mantra. Priyatam Pundari Kakshaha Sarva Igneshwaro Harihi Tasmim Stushte Jagat Tushtam Prinite Prinitam Jagat Harihi Om Tatsat Namaste. There is a bhojana prasadam, lunch arranged, and uh, th there will be one table here. It's for our esteemed guests only. They will stay here and dine. And because we have to manage the numbers, we'll have another uh, arrangement just below here if you go down the stairs. And all of this, all of us will have lunch there. Please cooperate. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs>